Well, hello. Today, I thought I'd try and show you how I made this little one inch tile um, for this Christmas card. Very, very small, but it makes quite a big impact on a large-ish card like this one. So to start with, I die cut a little square, one inch square, and I'm going to colour it with some Distress Oxide ink. And I'm just going to, should be wearing gloves really, dab it on. It's a nice lot of colour. It reacts beautifully with water. There we go. Nice lot of ink. Now I'm going to just spritz that a moment with um, a drop of water because Distress Oxide ink reacts with water. I just, here we go, just a little bit. Watch that. The colour seems to intensify a bit and we also get um, spots where droplets of water have landed. Now I'm just going to dry that off because I want to get on and do some more. There we go. Now you can see the colour has intensified a bit. It's got a bit deeper. Now I'm going to add a little bit of Inca Gold. This has been sitting in the drawer for a long time and has rather dried up, but I've been spritzing it with water and it's it's gradually coming back to life. So I've got a bit down here that will come onto my finger. I'm just going to dab a little bit on here. That'll do. Now this also is water reactive. So I'm going to spritz it again and see the effect it has on this corner. Oh, that's not the thing, that's not spritzing, that was heating. There we go. Now I'm going to dry it. ahead of myself. Right, so I've dried that off. I'll just dry the craft mat. Now I'm going to um, stamp onto it and I've got a, a text stamp, script stamp. It's a very old one from um, Stampin' Up. It's which says French foliage is from, and it's just beautiful, very, very fine writing. I'm going to do it first of all with this um, Brilliant Galaxy Gold ink. I'm never quite sure which is the right way up of this until I've actually done it. Doesn't matter really, nobody's going to be able to read what it says. There we are, we've got a bit of script on there. Just adding a bit of interest. And I'm going to stamp it again, this time with some black ink. Here's the black. Which way up did I do it? I think it was that way. There we go. Right, clean that up later. Now I die cut a couple of little holly leaves. I, I did it from this piece of acrylic printing. I think it must have come off a jelly plate or something. And I had no idea what I was going to do with it, but I thought it'd be quite good to use for something sometime. And here's its moment. So here we are, I'm going to stick these into the corner 
her. Whoops, lazy. Didn't want to stack. Right, good. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear emboss it. So for that, I'm going to use Versamark. And I've got an old pad because I don't want to make my clean one nice and dirty because oxide inks do react with water. So it'll some of that ink is going to come onto the pad. So I don't want to, to mess up my good pad. So I'm, I've got one that I keep for dirty jobs. So this is it. So I'm pressing it into the ink pad. It's covered. I'm going to pop it into the clear embossing powder. This is actually ultra fine. It doesn't matter exactly what thickness of embossing powder you use. I'm going to make a noise. Sorry about this. If I was brilliant at technology, I'd be able to do editing and all that kind of stuff for videos, but I'm afraid I don't have a lot of idea about that kind of thing. I just feel really pleased if I've managed to get something onto YouTube in the first place. So there's one layer. Now I'm going to do another. Press it into the ink pad again. And into the embossing powder. And heat once more. Do another layer. It's fine. Into the ink pad, into the embossing powder. Made a bit of a pig's breakfast there. That's fine. Okay. I don't know if you can see, but um, the, the embossing powder now is starting to move around a bit. I'm going to do one more layer, I think. And a rather nice effect, which I hadn't expected to happen, is just around here, some of the liquid is affecting the acrylic paint from off here. And some of the yellow of the green is starting to emerge. I think that's really rather nice. I hadn't expected that. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to do another another layer of embossing. Surprising what you find when you're doing things like this. Okay. Now I'll try and hang on to it so it doesn't go flying this time. Now, the Inca Gold is also starting to move around a little bit. So the final stage of this particular little tile is I'm going to use another stamp from the same set, the French foliage. It's like a little um, a franking, you know, a franking stamp for postal stamps. Um, and I'm going to ink it with some more of this um, archival brilliance galaxy gold ink but i'm going to do it when the embossing powder is molten and moving around so hopefully not only will i get some of the gold on there but i'll get a bit of an impression as well i've got various um levels because the the leaves of course stick up a little bit and so 
the, the embossing powder is still going up and down over those. If you do too many layers, you get it particularly completely flat, and we don't really want that to happen. So I'm going to do. Um, should I do one more layer? No, I think I'll just take this one and then I'll stamp it. Do too many layers, and as you start to stamp, you pu you're pushing the molten embossing powder off the edge of the tile, and then you can get into a bit of a pickle with that. So let, here we go. I'm going to heat this up again. has made a bit of an impression in the molten liquid as well as leaving the gold um, actual image itself. I think I've got it upside down but it doesn't really matter does it? Now just to finish it off I'm going to add a couple of little flat back pearls to the holly leaves. So I'll we'll put these on there. One and two so there we have a little tile um didn't take long to make i, I imagine you could probably do a bit of a production line if you had a, a row of little tiles ink 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 and emboss 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 etc and um it, it makes really rather a special um card in the end so i hope you've enjoyed it just have a go and if you do make a mistake you just reheat and uh, you start you know start again Awesome. Thank you very much for watching.